Hello everyone, this is Ziki here and I hope you're all doing very well. I am back again with another trending story from Chinese social media. And this story is trending because it is something that is outside the norm. Now we know that when a man uh, gets married, the wife moves in with him and children who are born from that marriage, they also take up their father's surname. But in this case, the opposite is true. Now, when a man and a woman gets married, it is the man who moves in with the wife's family and these are called live-in sons-in-law it's a trend that is happening in china and especially in a city called xiaoshan this is where it is happening so what they have is there's a website that is called jen jen's where uh potential live-in sons-in-law can apply and register themselves and they pay a registration fee of about 15,000 RMB which is an equivalent of almost 2,000 US dollars and you become a member for two years so those people are looking for live in sons in law they will go on the website and look at the profiles of those who are there and if they find someone who they, whom they're interested in they can approach them then the marriage can take place and then the men will have to move in with the family of the wife and the children who are going to be born from that marriage also take on the wife's family's a surname right now there are some requirements for you to be considered to be a living son-in-law because it's not something that you're just getting to get married and that you're just going to be staying in a mansion and not be doing things they know you will still be working you know you still be doing things in that family therefore there's some requirements you also have to be an average height for a minimum of about 170 centimeters tall and you should also have a credit score of about 360 no criminal record have a driver's license or if you don't have they have to you know make sure they help you to get one a driver's license okay and you have to be a, at least a professional uh you know of late i've seen that i've i've read that uh you know graduates university graduates are also applying to believe in sons in law okay and you also have to be earning at least, you know, a minimum of about 14,000 US dollars annually. Okay, so those are some of the requirements that are needed. And of course, depending with who the family that you're going to be married to, sometimes they may say, well, they want a tall guy, a short guy, handsome guy, whatever. All those are the other requirements that can come with it. But when you get married to their daughter, you will have to move in with them. Sometimes you even get a relocation fee. If you're someone who's coming from a different city, you will have to get a relocation fee for you to, you know, you start to move in with that family. My question to you is, how do you see live in sons in law? Would you consider, it, if you're a young man, if that offer comes to you, would you consider to be a live in, you know, son in law? Now, I've been following on, on, on comments on social media here. Uh, some people are saying, well, I will never take up such, and someone saying this is daylight slavery. Someone here says, well, I will not consider it because I cannot bear having to, you know, to deal with my wife and my father-in-law or my, oh, my parents-in-law, okay? And then someone here says, where do I sign up? And someone says, what happens if you get divorced, okay? Yeah, this is a very good question. What happens if you get divorced? Maybe if you get divorced, you just go back to where you come from, okay? You just take you you know leave you failed to own up your contract okay i don't know my i don't know i don't know we know that these days there have been different kinds of marriages that have been imaging we have seen some unconventional ways of people getting married women are getting married to two husbands three husbands men are getting married to two men and a woman you know all those sort of things are happening these days you know it's, it's, it's kind of crazy but you know for some of us who just want to remain in the natural way we just keep on to follow the natural way where we understand right but this one here the live in son in law is the one that is trending in china these are very rich people who just didn't want to lose their daughter so they say well instead of my daughter going to live with their husband and my daughter is treated badly why not just have my daughter come and live with her husband with us and then the husband will be doing things you know you'll be working it's more like they say you'll be a run boy you know you have to go do the groceries, the calls, the what, the what. Just like if the wife was the one who was coming to your home, she would be doing the cooking, the cleaning, the household, the what, the, all those things that she'll be doing. You will be doing those also. There is just a reversal of, you know, the, the whole thing. Okay, that is why people are like, well, we need men who are men who can stand up and stand up for the family, take care of the family, rather than relying on being taken care of and made to be women by other people, you know, 
I don't know, guys. So these are the stories that are trending. So like I said, I bring you stories that are trending, especially on Chinese social media. Like I always say, Chinese social media is one very, very big thing. A story quickly goes viral. Just post it now. If it's an interesting story with the correct hashtags, it goes far and wide. That is why this story, again, is also gaining a lot of comments and a lot of attention from Chinese social media. Of course, I was reading that a lot of young people are considering it. You know, they're saying that per day, 20 to 30 new applicants are applying and that website wanting to be considered to be live in Sangin Law. There are also some placards that they put, you need to be hardworking, this is not a job for the lazy. Graduates are also considering that because they say, well, I can be a graduate, but why not just go and drive a big car, live in a mansion, this and that. All the other nitty gritty that come with it, well, so be it. And others are coming from poor background. Young men who are coming from poor background or rather have marry in a rich family and have the father-in-law take care of them and then they whether they have children those children still have to take the surname of those you know the wife's surname right and you cannot claim the children you know these children they don't belong to you they belong to your wife in case of any divorce or anything but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day you will know that these are my children this is blood What's in a name? But many people consider a name to be very, very important. While others may say what is in a name for other people is very, very important. Like my people, well, well, well. Oh, my computer is switching off. Why is my okay? So for my people, it is very important for them to make sure that the lineage goes on. So when your surname is taken away from you, then your lineage is just cut off, just like that. So for most of these families, they don't want it to be like that, you know. So they'll say, no, we don't want our son to be a living son-in-law. Bring your wife home. Let your wife come home with you. The struggles, they're going to face the struggles together rather than you yourself going to become a slave in your wife's family. I don't know, guys. I only share with you all this kind of stuff. So I've already shared the story on the website. If you want to read everything and the meeting greetings, you can find all those on the website i've already shared the article but i just said well let me make it let me make it as a video so that others will fail to go to the website and just listen and learn about the story live in son in law just to have a little bit of money just to be a professional preferably those who work in the government sector that's the other one because they know that their jobs are scared you know their jobs are a little bit scared instead of those who are in the private sector and all this kind of stuff and also you don't have to be someone who is with you you know, having a job which has to take you away from home, where you need to be staying away, staying inside. No, your job has to be steady. Your job has to be steady so that you are able to be with the family because you are living in with them. Okay. Um, you, you, it's, it's just like a, after marriage, you just take your bags and go with be with your father-in-law or with your in-laws and their daughter in their home so it's not like you have to have a job where you need to be i'm going there i'm going this then you you're no longer a live-in who is going to do the house calls who is going to do the work who is going to run the errand who is going to go to the grocery shop who's going to be to take the family around who's going to be driving the family around they don't need to hire a driver again because that is your job you know to be driving them around to be going to do things to run errands for the family to make sure that the father-in-law is okay when he wants. <laughs> Don't forget it. Some of these things I'm just adding on. Okay, exaggerating a little bit, but that is it exactly. That is it because they even put on the website that it's not for the lazy people, meaning it's not just a walk in paradise. It means you'll be doing something. It's not just something that you just be get married, just be boom, 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 having children, and you don't do nothing. No, on the website it says that it's not. Or there is not for the lazy people okay you have to be working hard you have to be hard working for you to be considered because they'll be looking at your credentials you know where do you come from you know what have you been doing your credit score no criminal record no nothing you have to be a person of good suppose they don't want to marry to have their daughter get married to someone who's bringing control this is you know you're driving you're doing things doing this and that, so all that record will come on the family. You know, they want you to come in clean, you understand? Clean, and then come and be part of the family. I don't know. 
Father means the healing to come because then it's more sonic for us. Please subscribe and stay so that we don't miss on this and more. And we do love for your child to be a living son in law. We do love for your son to be a living son in law. Whether your mom or just we love your brother, your living son in law. I don't know. So then, let's.